more than a minute since I last shared an experience with you. This was interesting. It's a short experience, guys. Sometimes I, I have these experiences, I tell you. I've said this before. I have these experiences, and I, I just think this is so short, and people people aren't going to be interested in these experiences, some of them because they're over with so fast. But it, it it's, you know, these are experiences that are really happening to me. So sometimes I, I don't have control of the length, and it, it it's definitely been a while. But let me get into the experience for you. It, by the way, it is 4.56 a.m. in the morning, and the only reason why I would be up this early with you is to share an experience. So I had gone to bed about 40 to 50 minutes ago, I think. Maybe, yeah, it was like four something. So I was just laying there, and I was relaxing, and it had been a, a little bit since I had had an experience, and I was just on my side, just, you know, I was having a little bit of a tough day, and, you know, just the tough starting of the week, and I I told those around me, my guides, my more expanded self, just take me someplace cool, and, you know, I didn't know if I was going to perhaps fall asleep or something like that, but then I reached that middle space, that in-between space, that magical place that I talk about that's between being asleep and awake, and it's, you know, people have asked, what does it feel like? What does it feel like to be in that middle space? And it's like, you can think like you, I was, I was so funny because when I was there, I was thinking to myself, oh, it's about to happen. And many times I can feel it happening at this point. It's, it's an indescribable thing. The, if, trying to describe it to you to know that it's coming, it's like, oh, I don't know, it's like a wave. And I think I've described it this way before. It's like a wave, and that's what you feel. You feel as if a wave is coming over, and you, you know it's coming, right? Like if you were in the ocean, you can see a wave coming, and you know it's coming, and you're like, oh gosh, it's going to come over me. And maybe that's the best way to kind of describe it to you. I suppose it's like being in calm waters and then you feel a wave coming, you know, not a huge wave, not a tidal wave, but you feel a wave and you're like, here it comes, here it comes. And then it washes over you. And that's what it, that's what it feels like. So I'm in this middle space and then again, people will ask, so how do you allow yourself to get taken or to go off and and go someplace like you know they feel like they they reach that space and they're unable to and for me I just let allow things to continue once I feel that space I just allow my instincts and other things inside to take over so I felt myself kind of move over to the left almost off my bed I always feel as if I'm falling off my bed I um, I come down right onto the floor, but I didn't feel myself touch the floor. And I start moving. And as I was moving, as I was in movement, um, I remember in my mind thinking, okay, again, you guys, my more expanded self, my God, you're in control of this this time. <laughs> So just take me someplace cool. And again, this is something that I, I mentioned, I think, even in my um, in my last video, my Sunday video, where I said, keep it simple. Tell your guides, those around you, take you someplace cool and see what happens. So that's what I did. I said, take me someplace cool. So eventually the darkness lifted gradually and I found my myself in this place this was this first part of this experience was very strange 
At first, I felt myself in this place where I was weightless. It wasn't like the void where it was completely dark. Like, I usually know. I'll know when I'm in the void. But maybe this was another version of it. Maybe there are infinite number of uh, versions of the void. Most of the time when I found myself in the void, it's pitch black and I can't see anything and I'm just weightless and I'm floating around. This time I was in a place, it seemed almost like a house or some other kind of a place, a space. I remember seeing a box. Don't know why I remember that so much, but I remember I was going up and down. (laughs) Like I couldn't hold myself to the ground. I could not ground myself. I remember that. And I kept going up and I was touching the ceiling and then I come back, I push myself back from the ceiling and come down to the ground again and then up again and then down and I was bouncing up and down. Now, eventually, I ended up in another version of my apartment. Now, this was interesting. Those of you who are shifters know what a WR is, a waiting room. I have not talked about this before in my videos, but I believe that many times, perhaps the places that I see as versions of my apartment, I've seen different versions of my apartment, they may also actually act as waiting rooms. That's another interesting thing. But I've seen other versions of my WR or what they call a waiting room, an area to go out into another Um, reality. So I was sitting at the computer of this other place, this other version of my apartment. And it was, it was really actually quite bizarre because I was thinking to myself, as real as it is right now, you know, when people talk about real, whatever real happens to mean, whatever reality happens to mean, but is as real as it feels right now, sitting in front of my computer with you, talking to you right at this very moment, that is how it felt being in this other reality, in this other um, version of my apartment, sitting in front of another version of my computer screen. Now, I have a Mac computer with just the screen. I don't you know, the big old screen, the, I, I got it, you know, actually I got it s- some years back. It's a little bit older, but it's just, a, it's just a screen. It's a, it's a, it's a desktop. So I was sitting in front of the desktop, this other version of the desktop. And I was looking at the screen and I hadn't typed anything or done anything, but I was seeing like a video of a forest, right? I was just looking at it. And this forest, it was, you know, it didn't look look too unusual to me. My guess is what I'm remembering back is even in the video, I think I saw a lot of trees. And I I remember that at some point the video was sort of a smaller size and then automatically it expanded. And it took up my entire screen. So I'm looking at this. So I start trying to touch the screen. Because sometimes I can go through and access a reality through actually going through a screen or a device like that. So I was touching it. Now I want you to remember, please keep in mind that again, this is another reality. And this is another version of my computer. I'm not on my computer in the 3D world. I am on my computer in this other reality. So I'm touching it. And again, it's expanding automatically. And then something made me realize, I was thinking to myself, there's got to be a patio maybe just like the patio I have. So I look over and there's a patio and it's got, you know, the, um, you know, there's a screen door and everything. And I was just like, oh my gosh. So I go over to the screen door. And I start to pull it open. Now, one of the things I noticed as I was starting to pull the screen door open was that it was actually quite cold. And I'm not sure why that was. The screen, the glass 
on my screen door was cold, the handle was cold, and I had to struggle to pull it open a little bit. It was a little bit difficult to pull it over, pull it open, but it, it reminded me maybe of what it would be like if it was a cold winter day. It was very interesting. Once I pulled it open, and I believe I pulled the screen open as well, this was the most interesting part, guys. There were trees, or what appeared to be trees, very thick, big brown trees, very thick, thick, thick trunks, and tall. And there was one tree, and it was, it was moving. It was all trees are alive, but I have don't think I've ever seen a tree move on its own. And this tree was moving on its own. <laughs> it was oh my gosh. I mean, you know, anyone who has seen like a movie like Lord of the Rings or some of the other films that feature trees that can move around that are like, you know, people it's amazing to see it, but this was literally a tree. There was no other, like, I didn't see um, any human, like, face or anything on it. It was just a tree, but it moved on its own. It moved like it was walking around the other trees. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It was It was amazing. Unfortunately, I could not hold on to this reality, and I, I came back, um, and I opened my eyes, and I was like, well, I will share this with the community, um, and by the way, guys, there have been a few other experiences that I have had, if I'm being completely honest, in the last few weeks. Some of them I didn't know or feel as if you know, I should share them with the community. <laughs> they were a little strange. Perhaps some of you will give me some feedback on whether you would want to hear those or not. I have written them down. Um, anyway, but that was this experience that just happened. Oh, thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. And until next time, take care. <laughs>